Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire mod type run of Fire Red Cantle Complete. Last time, we completed our errands in Sevy Islands and caught Jirachi in the Dark Grove. So, this time, we're taking on the Brilliant Sea Gym, and I would assume a rival battle shortly thereafter. <clears throat> okay, so. The layout doesn't look that different, at least from here. Uh huh. Sure. I think in Manila, it actually doesn't. It actually tells you the leader's Giovanni on the sign. I can't remember. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, nice try. Nope. Oh, just go down already! <sighs> wow, you're a prick. Be right back. Oh, never mind! I have to fight this asshole to get out of here. Fucking asshole. Fine, be that way. Okay, so you're a water type specialist. What the hell? This guy's the best eyesight of all the trainers in the game. Say day, bitch. Yeah, I don't think so. But of course, in Gen 1, there's actually an item in the gym. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll stick to you for now. So now the gym is designed to railroad you as much as it can. I see. Well, fuck you too. Hit in power fighting, bitch. Oh yeah, because you're a normal type, so it's not going to work on you. Oh, by the way, yeah, Black Belt Keo, he shows up in Gen 2. Um, you can find him in Mount Moore and he gives you a Tyroke. Assuming that's the same Black Belt Keo, of course. Right, you're a special tank, so guess what we're doing? Nope. Not playing your games? Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. No, fuck off. We're not playing those games. Man, these trainers are annoying.
Sunny day, bitch. There you go. Yeah, no thanks to the you pricks. No, fuck off. I swear, every time he, every time something uses Dragon Breath, it always paralyzes. What are the odds of that happening? Or am I just spectacularly unlucky with that one move only? Alright, now we're definitely going back to heal, because I don't want, even want to know what kind of bullshit Giovanni's gonna pull after that. And the worst part of the whole thing is I can't even have my full team with me because of that STUPID FUCKING LAKE! What's the point of even having that there? You see, most ROM hacks actually try and go for having less HM usage, not forcing you to use them even more. In case he used Earthquake. Okay, never mind. Fine, be that way. Groudon! Okay. That makes things interesting. Okay, so Giovanni had Groudon. Huh. You know what's sad? The trainers leading up to Giovanni were tougher than he was. And Giovanni had a fucking legendary Pokemon! And we get a free Earthquake TM. And we could talk to him again. And he leaves. Uh, spoilers. That's not a genuine change of heart from him. He'll be back. Anyways, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up real quick. Also grab Striper out of the PC because, well... Victory Road's coming up and there's a lot of HM usage in there. Should probably, yeah. You know, we're not going to use those. Pretty sure. I have a bunch of items I need to put away, so uh, be right. Anyways, now I think we're ready to go. Now, before we do that. Yes, we are going to lead off with Hound Doom, so I can set up Sunny Day. Actually, no. We're going to knock you out first. And you. Well, fine. Fuck you too, bitch. Oh my god, just go down, Blastoise! Really? It didn't even use Water-type attack once. What the fuck? That was actually kind of sad. Wait. Was that Psychic? Hold on, can Tyranitar even know Psychic?
After quick search of Bulbapedia, I can, can confirm that Tyranitar cannot, in fact, learn that move. Ergo, Blue is a filthy fucking cheater. Oh, whoops. Yeah, eat shit, Blue. Yeah! <laughs> Careless? Fuck you! Fuck your cheating ass! Get out of here! Oh, I need more practice, says the cheater. Sore loser. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, we're close enough. Let's just go. Okay, so now that that's done. Fuck off, Makahita. You know what? So I don't get interrupted again. Now that that's done, let's move on. Walk around here. And down there we have a bunch of trainers. Whom, well, we could have battled earlier, pretty much right at the start of the game, but there's a good reason why we didn't. Let me run to the bushes. Bruh, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Dude, TMI. Eh, keep dreaming, lady. Okay. Hmm. Nope. We're not playing that game. Nope. 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 I was about to say, is it going to keep going until you miss? Wait, what? Elite Four? Well, that tells me I need to have Pokemon in the 70s. Maybe even the 80s. That's a much higher level curve than I thought. No, fuck off. You would get, get the special defense drop, wouldn't you? Always get exactly the RNG you need. No, go down. Okay, that was a tough one. Okay, let's, uh... What this tells me is I'm probably going to want Pokemon in the 80s for the Elite Four. Okay. I'll be honest, 
the other guy was tougher. A lot tougher. Oh, fuck off, Laron. Oh. I'll keep that in mind. In fact, I probably will have to rematch you. Just to make sure my team's up to date. Ready to go. But we're gonna go back and heal real quick. Never mind, he's a liar. You can't rebattle him. This is gonna take a while. In fact, you know what? I think we're gonna call it an episode here. I know it's a short one, but I got a lot of off-screen grinding to do to be ready for the Elite Four. My guess is I'm gonna need Pokemon at least in the high 70s, if not the 80s, based on the trainers I've seen on this route. So uh, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.